Hello, it's 2014 paper, CET. First question, a physical quantity Q is found to depend on observables x, y, z obeying the relation x cube y square by z the percentage error in the measurement of x, y, z are 1%, 2% and 4% respectively. What is the percentage error in the quantity Q? Okay. Now, this 3 into 1% is 3 plus 2 into 2 is 4 plus 1 into 4 is 4 equal to 11. Answer is 11 percent. Which of the following is not a vector quantity? Weight is a vector, mg. Nuclear spin is a vector. Momentum, mass into velocity is a vector. Potential energy is a scalar quantity. A car moves from A to B with a speed of 30 km per hour from B to A with a speed of 20 km per hour. A to B with 30 km per hour, B to A with 20 km per hour. What is the average speed of the car? It cannot be greater than 30 and less than 20. So this is not the option, less than 20, this is not the option. 30 plus 20 by 2 is 25, this is not the option. So it is 24 km per hour. Now let us work it out. This is x to and fro distances. x plus x is 2x. Therefore, average speed equal to total distance travelled, total distance travelled by total time taken. Total distance is x plus x. Time taken to travel first distance is time equal to distance by speed. So it is x by 30 plus x by 20. Numerator is 2x, x by 10 is common factor, then 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 equal to xx get cancels 20 in by 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 is 5 by 6. It is 4 24 is the answer. A body starts from rest and moves with constant acceleration for t second. It travels a distance x1 in first half and x2 in next half of the time. Then, straight away question, it is x2 equal to 3 times x1. Now using graph, let me solve. Let me plot a graph of velocity versus time. Starting from rest, the body is accelerated. For half of the distance, x1, the other half is x2. Carefully observe, area under velocity time graph represents displacement, okay? And this area, area of this x1 and area of x2, area of x2 is 3 times area of x1, therefore x2 is 3 times x1, or else using formula displacement equal to ut plus half a t square initial velocity is 0 therefore 0 x1 is half a t square that is distance traveled in first t seconds let us calculate for the entire interval for the entire interval x1 plus x2 equal to half a total time taken is 2t square so it is 4 times half a t square. By taking the difference of these two equations, we get x2. So x2 equal to this minus this. 4 times half a t square, 1 times half a t square is 3 times half a t square, which is equal to 3 times half a t square is x1. So it is x1. A person is driving a vehicle with a uniform speed of 5 meter per second on a level curve track of radius 5 meter. The coefficient of static friction between tires and the road is 0.1. 
while the person sorry will the person slip while taking the turn with the same speed take g equal to 10 meter per second square choose the correct statement a person will slip if v square is equal to 5 meter per second v square is greater than 5 meter per second i can easily skip this question it's a grace mark question because look at the options v square is 5 meter per second v equal to 5 meters per second has sense it is not v square equal to 5 meter per second here dimensions are not correct therefore options are not okay therefore let us not worry about this a stone is thrown vertically with a speed of 30 meter per second making an angle of 45 degree with respect to the horizontal so something like this projectile motion velocity is 30 angle is 45 height reached by the stone height equal to u square sin square theta by 2g u square is 30 30 sin 45 is 1 by root 2 square is half by 2 into g g is 9.8 2 oh this is approximately 10 10 10 2 this is 15 to 1.5 so 15 into 1.5 is 22.5 a force acts on a particle whose position vector is given what is the torque about the origin beautiful torque is r cross f be careful torque is r cross f not f cross r therefore the cross product of two vectors i j k this is its position vector coefficient of i cap is 1 minus 2 1 so here it is minus sorry 1 minus 2 1 and then force is 5 2 minus 5 5 2 minus 5 now i have to solve this equation i into i cap into 10 minus 2 plus sorry minus j cap into minus 5 minus of 5 plus k into 2 minus 10 plus 10 so first term is 8i minus 5 minus 5 minus 10 minus plus 10j plus 12k plus 12k what is the time period of revolution of earth satellite ignore height of the satellite above the surface of earth time period is given by 2 pi r plus h whole power 3 by 2 divided by square root of g m okay if height is neglected means h is 0 h is 0 it's a trivial question it's about 83.7 minute a period of geostationary satellite is 24 hours what is the source temperature of Carnot heat engine required to get 70 percent efficiency given sink temperature is 27 degrees celsius efficiency equal to 1 minus t2 by t1 since it is capital t this is an absolute temperature numerator is temperature of sink this is temperature of source efficiency is 70 percent 70 percent is 0.7 equal to 1 minus t2 t2 is 273 is equivalent to 300 kelvin so it is 300 by t1 therefore 300 by t1 equal to 1 minus 0.7 this is 0 0.3 therefore t1 is 300 by 0 0.3 equal to 1000 kelvin here it is 1000 degrees celsius therefore it is 727 A 10 kg metal block is attached to a spring of spring constant given. Block is displaced from equilibrium position by 10 cm and then released. 
maximum acceleration of the block. Acceleration of the block is given by minus omega square x and restoring force is given by minus k into x. Okay. Minus k, k is 1000, 1000 x is 10 centimeter that is 0.1 therefore restoring force equal to 100 Newton. But mass into acceleration is 100, acceleration is 100 by mass, mass is 10 kg, 100 by 10 is 10 meter per second square. A metal wire of length 1 meter has a mass of given. If tension is applied to the wire, what is the speed of transverse wave? Speed of transverse wave is given by square root of T by M, where M is mass by length called mass per unit length. Mass of the wire is 10 into 10 power minus 3, length is 1 meter, which is 10 power minus 2. Therefore, speed equal to square root of tension is 100 by 10 power minus 2 so it is 100 meter per second a train is approaching towards a platform with a speed of 10 meter per second while blowing the whistle of frequency mentioned let us get the equation through this diagram this is source velocity of source this is observer so velocity of observer equal to 0 because observer is stationary and f prime is given by f into v minus v o by v minus v s okay this is velocity of source velocity of observer here observer is at rest therefore this is 0 therefore f dash equal to 340 this is velocity of sound 340 by 340 minus 10 330 this ratio is slightly greater than 1 therefore answer should be slightly greater than 340 it is 350 a rotating wheel changes angular speed from 1800 rpm to 300 rpm divide this by 60 this is 30 rpm divide this by 60 this is 50 rpm in 20 seconds what is the angular acceleration assuming it to be uniform omega equal to omega naught plus alpha t angular acceleration is omega minus omega naught by t okay so this is the formula used omega is but omega is 2 pi f therefore 2 pi common factor omega is 50 minus omega naught is 30 by time taken is 20 seconds 20 so it is 20 by 20 answer is 2 pi 2 pi radian per second square a liquid a flow of liquid is streamlined if Reynolds number is less than 1000 Reynolds number is given by rho v d by eta if Reynolds number is less than 1000 then it is streamline streamline flow Reynolds number is greater than 3000 and it is turbulent turbulent Reynolds number is between is greater than 1000 and less than 3000 or greater than 2000 this is 2000 then unstable unstable so here it is streamlined less than 1000. 